The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. I'll never forget when I was a young man in Camp Shiftei Israel. I was in the bunk with a lot of the people you know now as the rabbis of the community, as rabbis in the community. And I will never forget this. One morning, we woke up, we went to line up before Shacharit. What happened? There had been a skunk in Camp Shiftei Israel, terrorizing uh, the place. You'd be walking back to your bunkhouse, midnight, all of a sudden on the front steps of your bunkhouse is a skunk. You froze. You know how far a skunk can hit you with the sp- spray? Up to 25 feet. These guys are sharpshooters. You know what it takes to get the smell of skunk off of you? You need to bathe in tomato juice. I'm not joking. The smell doesn't come off no matter how much you scrub in the shower. For days you smell. And the smell is so overpowering, you can't breathe. What happened? They tried to catch the skunk. They set out a trap. And Yishtabach Shemo, the skunk took the bait, went in the trap. A bunch of kids in the morning, they see the skunks in the trap. They all gather around, oh fantastic, we caught the skunk. Dibs. <laughs> the cage has a bunch of holes in it. What the skunk do? Rears up, lifts his tail, pegged all of them. 20 kids surrounding the cage. The smell in the camp was insane. I have time to pray. They took the kids and they started walking with everyone into the bed, into the bed Knesset. Now the bed Knesset, Hadad's already covering his nose. Even listening to the story, he can't handle 20 kids covered in skunk smell. They walk into the synagogue in two seconds. You can't breathe in the synagogue. All the kids pointing at the other kids. You stink, you smell. Kids stop. The rabbi, I'll never forget Rabbi Wadish. Rabbi Wadish walks up, gives a big slap on the bima. Right? Of course, they open the windows. He says, everyone who was affected this morning, please join me. We're going to go to a special minyan. We're going to have a skunk minyan on the third baseball field he led them to. And who led the minyan? He didn't send one of the guys, one of the counselors, one of the junior counselors. The head counselor himself, Rabbi Wadish, ran the skunk minyan in the middle of the thing. All the kids now, they feel it. I'm part of the skunk minyan. It's me, my friend, and the rabbi. What an unbelievable opportunity to flip the script. You see, all of us, we looked at a bunch of kids and we saw smelly kids. Kids that need to be thrown out of the Beit Knesset. But Rabbi Wadish understood that the point is not to throw someone out of somewhere. The point is to lead someone somewhere. To have a destination where you're going, not a destination where you need to be thrown out from. You want to throw a kid out of school because he smells, because he's doing the wrong things? Where are you sending him to? If you don't have another school you're sending him to, don't talk to me about the fact that you're throwing him out. You're in this job for the education, aren't you? Your responsibilities to every child that grows your path. Right? Every child. Where's the skunk minyan that you're making for him? Or that you arranged for him? Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.